we used to do up to like four color, but that get a little bit too complicated. But yes, one to two color would be perfectly fine. Yes, you can do however many color you want. You can stop at one color though. One color is giving a different, totally different pigments, you know? And as I say, you can definitely add your pigments a little bit more, one layer, two layer. If you want to be a dogger, more vibrant, add more, add more as you prefer. You see that and how I add it more, it's going to make it dogger. But you can add it like a little if you want to. Um, what is this? The, do you have the neon pink? Neon. Um, what? It, yeah. I must have my neon pink in some display. Yeah, should do a purple though. Pink. Mm -hmm. Some of my neon pink is somewhere. somewhere. Passionate. I can't remember what it is. Give a good quick shake. I'm really curious on what it's going to turn out with that neon pink. Oh yeah. So just like the other neon color, the previous snow we did, all of them will glow in the black light. So after all this, we'll show you the final look. It will look awesome. Just a little bit. I see these two colors going to be together. Oh, that's hot. This is really hot. And then you don't need a lot with the neon though. Mm -hmm. Let me see, I'm gonna separate them out. But you know what, it's so cool because it's when it getting to the blue, it's turning to purple. All right, let it air dry. And as I said, you do not need anything else. No other solution needed it as it's gonna pretty much like spreading and bleeding your as designs, marblings. Only you need is this bestie crystal clear. And you see that I picked us a little bit of the crystal clear. I didn't do it too much. A little go a long way. I am going to kind of blend and spread the pigment the way I want it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do and thinking of. I'm going to thinking of doing it. It's kind of a little sore this way. And then this. You will never go wrong with this. Only... It's only one is um a thing that i want you to just pay attention when you do just don't use a lot you can do however you want but don't pick a lot of your crystal clear your crystal clears little go a long way and because then if you're getting a less and it's just like about a little bit dams yours uh brush your bristle that's all you need and then if, if you do that you can able to control pretty much every single design of your fusioning of your marbles that you want and a glitz fusioning, the pigment is just like everything. It's so pigmented, but it's smooth and floating and smoothing so easy. So then you can create it like basically effortless. This looks so vibrant already. And then wherever you want your marbles veining to look, you just need to place your bristle in outers and then walk toward to the center to the inners so then you can able to control and you don't have to get it perfect spot like right now i'm just giving a little bit of outline and then you can able to go back and really is perfect it blend it the way you want it more i'm just like really separate and then create some veinings right here and then you can connecting your veining together when you are like go through your completing your nails so this way it give you an idea of it. At first, you just separate your veining. I mean, separate the, how to say, like separate the veining? No, it's create the veining. Mm -hmm. And you just like separate that, the the section. Okay, I got it. The section of the designs that out. It looks like, huh, what? I don't care for this, you know? But you don't want to perfect it one spot first. And then you keep 
keep working on it and you might wash off completely your pigment so just take your time it looks like it takes forever but it doesn't it one ounce when you do the clients you know exactly what you want to control this and you can go from there okay you see that I got the possibility of a lot of veinings right here. And you can definitely um, accumulate them to vein together. You don't have to have like a thousand vein in there unless you want to. And blend it them. And keep in mind, if you want it like this, you can leave it like after you finish completely. But if you want to edit them more of a different color, oh yes, you can definitely edit more. Like add more pigment form of fusioning and then start creating it more okay so you see that how every time i did i always make sure that i wiped off my bristle to make it really nice and clean first and now i'm gonna go in and perfect this one You know where I just realized this color is? Tie-dye? No. That and look like Holly Queen. Holly yeah. Queen? Yep. Is this color? They yep, they go with two hair color. It's like this it's a blue two and, and pink. pink. It is? Yes. I didn't I don't remember. You got a good memory. And her makeup is super, super bright, vibrant. Like white out. Pretty yeah. much like half half like a cloud makeup with pink and blue. Look just like this. Are you sure? I yep. don't remember. I'll show you a picture later. Oh, nice. Okay. Good memory. I didn't know. It just looks so cool right now. All right. More. Ooh, nice. Cool. And if you want more, I'm gonna add some of the blue on here. Mm -hmm. Did I do calming? Did I do feeling blue or calming earlier? Uh, you do calming. Oh. Add some more. See, that's how you can do. Oh yeah, you are right. She looks yeah 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 yeah. And then passionate. You see what I mean? You can work on it and then see what part you want to add on. Hey, you can add it on anytime. Great. And it's air dry already. Just a little bit of my crystal clear. And walk around. That's it. Do you want to see some veining? I mean, from. I mean. You don't even need to veining because that's. No, it's just veining. I'm sorry. It's um, the highlight. You could. Or leave it by itself. That looks really defined. Let some go on it and you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look cool. And then you can mix. Here I'm going to show you. If you want to make your vein to be even skinnier. Like, I mean, more precise. Using just a little bit on the tips of your bristle from the crystal clear. And wipe it just, just like that. See that? I'm going to make it really nice and precise for you. And if you want to see a lot of more design that I got an opportunity to share with you throughout the years and a lot of other videos on TikTok. I mean, on TikTok, we have a lot of video on Instagrams, a lot of videos as well. Thousands of videos. We have a 10,000 posts. So if we're just like doing it one fifth of video we post and we'll probably have 2000 videos there or more, both long video tutorials and and the uh, um quick short i mean reels um youtube we have over 2000 video for you to watch on all different like short um long tutorials short and also live video as well oh it looks really good though you can leave it like this you can leave it like this make sure the brush is the bristle clean off all the pigments so then that way you will not carry your pigments back into your crystal clear because the next time you're using other colors this will not dilute your colors or it fixing other colors 